Hello, HBA of Greater Des Moines. This is your EO Dan. Uh, trying something new here. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at a conference in Denver uh, with a group of my peers throughout the country. And uh, this is just one of the few things we brought back as a way to try to get into uh, current technology. Hopefully, you all had a great Labor Day and uh, you're back to work now. And uh, we're, uh, we're going to try a few new things. We're going to shake some things up. And uh, this video is just the first of them. So. The big thing we've got coming is micro. We know at the end of the month on the 28th, uh, we have the big skilled trades event with micro as the keynote speaker. And we really need your help trying to get this to be a sellout. Uh, we've got over 300 RSVPs from the educators and students already. So that includes uh, CTE teachers, principals, superintendents, and then students both uh, high school and college level. We've got almost 1,100 RSVPs already. So as, a, as, as things start to become more and more public and we get closer and closer to the event, I'm truly confident that this is gonna sell out. We want your help with that, but we also don't want you to be cut out from that. Uh, we taped some uh, radio commercials earlier today and uh, they're gonna start airing next week. So once the public really starts hearing about this and reading about it in the business record and the Des Moines Register, um, I, we really think that these things are going to start flying off the table. So I don't want you left out, so please reach out to us, uh, call the office, email the office, go to iowaskilledtrades.com if you want, uh, but we really want to get this thing going and uh, we want it to be a huge success and we would like for you to be there. I talked about the uh, Association Management Conference that I went to, uh, that was great. We had a lot of great information, a lot of great uh, Breakout sessions, we met with people from Howes and the Chrysler Dodge uh, dealerships that are now going to be part of our affinity program, or they actually have been for about six months now. Uh, they're working on a new bill paying process uh, that several of the EOs are working through trial and error now to figure out. So it won't be long before you'll be able to pay your bills, your, your membership dues on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis or semi-annual basis, depending on, on what you choose. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of networking, um, Personally, we got the opportunity to invite our CEO, NHB CEO, our area rep, and then last year's president who uh, resides in Bloomington, Illinois, to come to the micro trades event. So that was fantastic also. Uh, big shout out to all the ladies that have been participating in the Hammer and Heels uh, build with Habitat for Humanity. We've had two days now where we've had uh, several HBA members that have been out helping build these homes for Habitat. So thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Uh, this Thursday is uh, this month's After Hours. It's at Ferguson in Clive. So the Ferguson Showroom in Clive is this month's After Hours. Uh, end of the month is a tour of remodeled homes on the 23rd and 24th of September. Uh, get out and support the Remodelers Council. Uh, they've got a lot of fantastic projects. We've got the programs. Uh, they're being printed right now, but looking at the proof, these things look really top-notch. Uh, the program looks fantastic again, so all of those of you that partnered with us in there, thank you. Uh, and uh, next time you see Melissa, Laura, and Jessica, tell them great job on creating it because they really did a fantastic job. Um, we're getting to the end of uh, the summer now. Uh, Golf League ends on the 11th, which is next week. But then next Friday is our fall golf outing. Uh, we're moving it over to Pleasant Hill. Uh, so we are not going to be uh, in Norwalk this fall, so uh, don't forget about that. We're going to be at Copper Creek and Pleasant Hill. And uh, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting on my desk on a couple flags wearing jeans and an Iowa t-shirt. Iowa State shirt, let me rephrase that. Uh, because we're trying something new this year. As a PAC fundraiser, uh, we're going to do a little event called Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is. And what we really want is uh, to back up the smack talk. I've been hearing it for over 20 years here at the HBA. And uh, if you're that that confident that Iowa's going to beat Iowa State, then you're willing to put your name on the line. And uh, when Iowa State beats Iowa, you're going to have to wear an Iowa State shirt to our golf outing. If you're that confident that Iowa State's going to win, the same works for you. Put your money on where your mouth is, put 50 bucks into the pot for pack. And when Iowa beats Iowa State, then you're going to have to show up for our golf outing wearing Iowa gear. Let's not just talk about it, let's really do it. Just like we're doing at the Skilled Trades Alliance, uh, we're, we're really putting our money where our mouth is, and uh, we want to do that here at the HBA also. So give us feedback. If you like the video, great. We're going to keep doing them. If you don't, and you'd rather go back to a letter that you don't read and skip over, um, I can do that. But I think that this is kind of the path that we're going on. So let us know what you think. 
Get a hold of us for micro. Get a hold of us for put your money where your mouth is. We really want to get something going here. We want to take pictures that we can embarrass each other with over the next 12 months. Thank you.